door. We've built big, big sets. The set pieces are bigger. There's more people than ever. I feel like after the third one, everybody's had the dancing. Like, how are you going to top that? They found a way. How do I push to the next level? How do I make each number bigger than the one before? How do I make this step up bigger than any step up before? The concept we all gravitated to was the notion of the flash mobs. There's always an excitement to do something different, to do something big. I don't think anybody had ever done them sort of on the scale with the level of dance that we were attempting. But nothing stops these kids. They just love what they do so much. They show up every day excited to do it. Doesn't matter what you throw at them. They're very high energy dance pieces, high energy choreographers, high energy dancers. And they all feel very different from one another. Whether it's here in the containers or on Ocean Drive or out on the beach, we're really trying to kind of uh, expand the world in this movie. I think a lot of it had to do with creating a much different canvas than that really city feeling um, to really open up the movie. There's just so much rich color, texture, you just feel it in all the scenes. The best dancers in the world, some of the highest concepts in the world. The, the numbers are giant. I mean, we use between 40 to 60 people, including parkour. Uh, that, to me, added a whole other exciting element to it as well. There'll be times while I'm shooting and I'll look around and I'll just be just in awe of what's going down. I really feel like what my team has put together, you know, I couldn't be happier and I think we've got something, I think we got something in store for you guys that you're really going to love. People are going to be excited when they see this. It's unlike anything that we've done in the previous movies. We took it to something extraordinary. You're going to have a great time. You're going to see some stuff that you have never seen before. <laughs>